Well, here we are at the uh, Chaffetz Arena gigantic show tonight with the Killers, joined by uh, Brandon and Ronnie. Gentlemen, thank you very much for your time. Really appreciate it. Yeah. I love the album. Wonderful, wonderful is out now. It is. Uh, it's. It, it's such a great record. Um, I think very much worth the wait. I want to know first things first about Jackknife Lee yeah. uh, that uh, that produced this record for you. I know there were a couple of other guys as well that did a track, yeah. but I want to know about a producer and what his role is with you guys and how you know he's the right one to work with you guys on something like this. Well, it's different. I mean, they, every producer is a very it's a very uh, that word casts a very large net. Mm -hmm. and they can be. And there are some people that just get in a room and sit Indian style and give you vibe. And some people that the other end of the spectrum is actually they play with you and they they're they're like a fifth member of the band. Or, um, and uh, Jackknife was kind of everything. He sat Indian style and he played. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> sat <was> everything. <laughs> yeah, he was he was all he definitely took the holistic approach. Yeah, but, and, but I'm always very interested when, you know, because that's a big thing to let somebody in. I mean, that's the innermost circle of the band. So there has to be a lot of trust that develops over probably a short period of time in order for that to, to happen. Yeah, you have to go with your gut and you meet, you know, we met with a lot of different people and we've met a lot of people along the way. And, and it was just instantly, you know, we were drawn towards him and felt comfortable around him, so it, it made it easy. Very good. Uh, I'm always amazed when great songs like Run For Cover, I hear and read stories about how it's been around for yeah. a number of years. Do you keep everything around with the hopes that maybe one day it turns into something? Or are there those that eventually you go, you know what? I think this one's been around for a while. Like, how do you know that there's something there to keep it around? We don't. We, you know, we haven't. It's it's rare for us. It's this one in particular. Just my brother kept emailing me. Yeah. And that was you know kept it in my mind, and he, because he he's a fan of this song, and so I think without that I don't know without that prodding from him I don't think I would have, you know, brought it back and pursued it the way that we did. But yeah, we we don't have any more laying around that are that good <laughs> that have been around that long. <laughs> I always wonder because you know some bands will say that once they write it for whatever that session is, it's gone. You know what I mean? That's that, that they just leave it and move on and don't want to kind of revisit. So I'm always it's very it's very fascinating to me when you find those little gems there yeah. that ended up turning into, into great things later on. Uh, I wanted to ask you about your opener tonight, um, Alex Cameron. Yeah. Uh, I just. And, and please don't think badly of me on this one, but I just heard his solo music for the first time last yeah. week. Uh, his record label played it for me. I was completely blown away. He's co-written some songs on this record with you. How did you guys get to get, get to know Alex? Uh, he, his first record is called Jumping the Shark. So he's, he's out there right now um, showing people the second one, and which is called Forced Witness, but we had heard a couple of tracks from Jumping the Shark and we're just in love with it and reached out to him just to tell him that I appreciated what he was doing and we just became friends. And then just from there, you, you see him in Australia, then... You know, how does, <laughs> He's I, been over here for a long time. Tourist. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so, and so we hooked up, he came to Las Vegas and we did some writing for his new record and for, and for, the, and for our, our new record. Outstanding, outstanding. I had the opportunity to see you guys. Um, it's my second time seeing you in the course of about a few months because I saw you the first weekend of ACL. Oh. I thought your Tom Petty covers were absolutely phenomenal. Like, like just what were perfect amongst that night. When you were covering somebody like that, that obviously I would assume you have a great deal of respect for, that has this unbelievable catalog of great material, how do you narrow it down? You know what I mean? I think yeah. you guys did American Girl, and I think you did uh, Waiting, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we had to take into consideration that you're playing at a festival, and you don't know how many of these people are Tom Petty fans, and so we wanted to pay tribute and, and have them be able to recognize it. Sure. So American Girl was just a no-brainer, and, and then The Waiting is just such a beautiful song, and it was nice to be able to do both of those. He has so many. Songs. Yeah. <laughs> so many good and songs. Bands. And it was just uh, incredible. I mean, we're big fans already, but um, it's just a sad thing to, to do and wish we could have done it while he was alive. Pay tribute to him. We need to start playing 
you know, people's songs that we love that are still alive, so they know that we love them. Yeah, you know? he he was one of the, when when he when he passed, it felt like the cool uncle that like got us beer maybe before we should have it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or would play or would slip us that punk rock record mm. that we might not have gotten otherwise. He just sort of had yeah. that, and it was he was one of those deaths that like. I never met him, you know, I'd only seen him a couple of times, yeah. but it really, you know, yeah. it really affected me. So it was great that weekend, though, because there were a lot of tremendous tributes. Mm -hmm. Well, gentlemen, we thank you so very much for your time. It's always a pleasure to have you in St. Louis. Thanks. Again, if you don't have Wonderful, Wonderful, the new Killers album, it's really outstanding. Run for cover, the new song we're playing. Uh, the Man I Love, it reminds me of every cool talking head song that I that, 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 I, that I enjoyed <laughs> as, as I was growing up. But um, really looking forward to the show tonight. Gentlemen, well, thanks, thanks for your time. Thanks. Thank you very much. Backstage with uh, the Killers.